the UN's General Assembly didn't just lure our, you know, mumbling, bumbling, blundering, out of touch commander in chief into New York City. It's also now reported that it attracted scores of high end escorts from around the country and around the world who made their way, you know, as far as Vegas and Europe just to meet up with the uh, dignitaries. Anyway, uh, here now with Reaction, he's the host of Fox Across America. By the way, big uh, comedy special, Long Island, October 13th, Boom! Huntington. October 13th at the Paramount. I'm standing filming my one-hour special for Fox Nation. By the way, three to $5,000 a session with these high-end hookers. Oh, well, you know what? We learned something, though. What? Now we know why Bill Clinton was doing so many events in town this week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's like, he's like, hey, Donate to the Clinton Global Initiative, and could you pay me in singles? You know oh, what I mean? The only thing I would add, okay? I, again, I'm a former cab driver in New York City. Yeah, yeah. This is absolutely a true story, okay? But I would warn these foreign leaders to be careful. A lot of the women in this neighborhood have Adam's apples. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, fellas, there's a fine line between Daisy Duke well, and Dylan really, Mulvaney. Does it matter you know? what pronoun they are? No, not, not at those prices. It probably does Now, doesn't. when you were a cab driver, did mm -hmm. people come to town in New York and say, uh, where can I go and, and meet these people? You want to laugh? Okay, not only do they ask you that, but sometimes uh, some of the women would offer to barter for the fare. You know, but there's certain things you don't want too cheap in life. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like everybody loves that ad for fifty dollar laser eye surgery. To How did see that the conversation go? <laughs> what? How did that conversation go? Well, they'll say like, ah, oh, this is you know seventy five dollars unless you want to take it out and trade. You know what I mean? Like, they actually uh, said that to you. Oh yeah, me. I mean, because I look like the kind of guy that would look, pay. Look at these look guys at the in the <laughs> Look at the guys in the back. They they actually said, hey, "Well, I need to work for that company. <laughs> I gotta drive for that cabby." Oh, now, man. well, listen. All I'll say to this, Sean, is it's nice to see the politicians screwing somebody besides the voters. How about that? Great How answer. About that? How about that? All right. Next question. So, what's going on with John Fetterman? On Wednesday, he presided over the Senate in a t shirt and shorts. <laughs> but don't worry, he says he will save democracy and will wear a suit uh, to work if the House GOP avoids a government shutdown. Now, my yeah. question to you first of all, this guy is a mess. Oh, he's a big mess. Listen, I, I feel bad for Fetterman. If he was any slower, he'd be president, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's the saddest part of that Fetterman video where he's trying to get out I-95. Remember that? He's like, ah, ah, I-95. When he finally gets it out, Biden yells, bingo! You know? It's a, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a, it's a mess. But yeah, he says he's going to wear a suit, but knowing him, it'll be a bathing suit. Like, we oh. don't even know. It's embarrassing, because it's the Senate! Okay, oh, the man. United States Senate is now saying, hold us to a lower standard. You're supposed to dress for the job you want. Fetterman looks like he wants to be the lead actor in a rom-com called Debbie Does Meth. Okay? <laughs> This is wow. sad. This is sad. It is. It's the Senate! All right, I got another topic. So tensions are rising on, on the golf course. Yeah. You have this one golfer, by the way, appears to lose his mind during an argument over an alleged stolen golf ball. Take a look. No, you're the one that approached me and I asked you to walk to speak. You took her ball! For a golf ball. Is that fancy, boy? Now get the off the cart. Walter. Walter? Oh, here we go. You see that? Oh. That's what you look in the heaven. Do you want to test God? You come get it. Okay. <laughs> this is the worst Happy Gilmore sequel I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no. I think that guy's kind of mentally ill, and I am an expert on mentally ill because I watch CNN all day. Um, <laughs> Jimmy. But I don't like, I mean, the, the funny thing about it is, you know, because you work out, yeah. that was not a physique. No, That not you at all. flex if you're trying to scare someone away. Like if you're trying to get the ladies to walk away, maybe, you know? Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Thank Jimmy. you, sir. My man. <laughs> All right, that's all the time we have left this evening. As always, thank you for tuning in, making this show possible. Please set your DVR so you never, ever, ever miss an episode of Hannity. Oh, Want to yeah. join our live audience show? Well, it'll be on Thursday, the day after next week's Republican presidential debate. Tickets, Hannity.com. They're free. In the meantime, let not your heart be troubled. Why? Stay tuned. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.